What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Oh, yeah, guys. So I was just over here checking out our villagers that we um, we set up in their little trading booths a while ago. I was checking the stock and these emeralds that these guys are producing. Do we just drop them normally? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a, close to a stack just by having these villagers here, and we're just automatically picking up the, di or the emeralds that they drop with these transfer nodes. Uh, but yeah, last episode we were working with the bee stuff and we had finished that all up and then we uh, uncovered that the quest in the bees and trees section actually has stuff for trees. So I want to start working on this today. So fruit samples, we need a lemon, walnut, and chestnut. Now people in the comments were saying that we can just buy these saplings and stuff from the Pam's Harvest Craft Market. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Lemon, chestnut, and walnut. So we'll go ahead and throw those in any eye here and we can kind of filter by what we have. So these are the items that we need from forestry and these are the saplings we need from forestry. Sweet chestnut, common walnut, and lemon sapling. Now, Pam's Harvest Craft does have walnut saplings and lemon saplings and chestnut saplings, but these are not the items that we need. Um, now was it the sapling? No, we need it. Yeah, we need these actual items from forestry. So these are the different ones. And then again, Pam's Harvest Craft does have these lemons, but these are not the same item as the forestry lemons. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's another lemon here and a chestnut from Pam's Harvest Craft. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's different mod. They have the same items, the same named items, but they are different. So we do have to go through and do some tree breeding. Um, yeah, I went through our market here and I was clicking on this. I saw we can buy a spawn horse. I don't remember if we saw that before. I guess we did uh, for 12 emeralds. So uh, we got one of those through, what was it? The random single use safari nets a while ago. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was going through all this and we do have like vanilla saplings in here, which is cool if we ever ran out or something. Acacia, I don't know if we ever had those. Actually, is Acacia in 1.7? I think that was added by another mod maybe. Um, so yeah, I went through all of these and it just has the Pam's Harvest Craft trees, the vanilla trees and the Pam's Harvest Craft plants, but none of the forestry stuff. Yep, unfortunately, not going to be as simple as cheesing it using the marketplace. No, we are actually going to have to do some tree breeding. So, let's take a look at this. I think lemon is like one of the earlier trees. And in order to get a lemon tree, let's click on this. It'll show us the recipe. So, we need a silver lime sapling, which is, I think, let's see. It's a birch plus an apple oak. So, we put an apple oak and a birch tree next to each other. The bees do their things, they mutate the leaves, and then we'll get the apple oak pollen, or um, the mutated leaves will automatically just go ahead and produce a silver lime sapling, which is probably the way we're going to do this. Uh, a way I've done it before in the past is when you grow a forestry tree, it has a chance of spawning a butterfly. And if you contain that tree, like you put it in a little glass box, the butterflies can't fly anywhere, and then you can grab them with like a safari net and then you can use uh, the MFR auto spawner to spawn a whole bunch of butterflies when they land on the leaves they produce pollen you kill the butterflies they drop the pollen and you can use the pollen directly on leaves to mutate them yourself which is a really fast way to do it uh, we might look into doing that today I'm not sure but uh, in order to get this going first of all we need a birch and an apple tree which is just the the oak tree, the forestry version. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and plant those near our bees over here. We're just going to do in this little area, I think. Uh, yeah, this is all going to be a temporary thing here. I don't think we're going to set up a huge forestry tree operation. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do is get those trees uh, going here. Uh, so we need dirt. We'll go ahead and just plant a few trees here. We need dirt. We need uh, uh, oak and birch. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking apple oak, but it's still just an oak tree until we put it through the tree elizer, I believe. Uh, birch, we don't have those in here. We need to go down below to our old base way down here. Uh-oh. Did this freeze up? This might have froze up. Are we? Oh, we're full on saplings. Look at that. Wow, it finally filled up. <laughs> 
Okay, well, that's cool. Um, no harm in leaving that here. It's not like we really need the wood or anything like that 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 is collecting. We have one birch sapling. Only one? Did we never... I feel like we might have seeds. Oh, we got birch seeds here. Okay, so that's two more. Uh, you know what? We'll leave the sapling here. We'll take one of these birch seeds with us. That should be fine. Okay, so back over here. Um, dirt and a dirt. You know, place this here. That should turn into a birch sapling. Okay. Uh, but before we do this, we actually need to convert these into the forestry trees. So we're going to need to get ourselves a treealizer. Is that... Okay, it's right here. Couldn't find it. Uh, so in the carpenter, we need to put in some copper ingots, some glass panes, diamond, redstone, some water. How is our carpenter set up over here? I cannot remember. It is set up with nothing. Okay. So I can click a bucket of water in there. That'll be fine. And then we need glass panes, copper, diamond, and I think it was just one diamond, right? I think it was just one redstone. Okay. We'll set the pattern for that. That, that, diamond, uh, redstone, and copper. Was that not the pattern? All right, let's double check one more time. I thought that's how it was set up. Copper, 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 copper. Redstone diamond. Oh, two buckets of water. Oh, it's being greedy. I see. Um, I guess we'll just bucket it out of this one. So we need one more bucket of water, and then we should be good to go. Okay. Click. Yeah, so now it's going to do the thing. I have to click it once. Uh, the carpenter, if you have more than enough materials in here to make more than one recipe, it would automatically craft it. But if you only have enough for one, I don't think it'll craft it. I think that's what happened there. You have to actually click it for it to get going. Uh, but yeah, this is how you make the tree laser. The bee laser is almost the same thing. Instead of copper, I think you use bronze or something, but it's like the same process to make one of those. Uh, the tree laser looks pretty much exactly the same as the bee laser, and it does require honey. So let's grab some honey drops that we have in our system. Almost 1,500 of those. Quite a lot. Honey drops go here, then we put the saplings in here. Once we put a vanilla sapling, like this oak sapling, it will then convert into an apple oak sapling. And then we'll see all the base traits that it has. So it matures faster, saplings average, and all this stuff. Um, tree breeding is kind of cool because you can make it so it has like a lot of saplings that the tree drop. Like every leaf will drop one sapling or something like that. Um, you can make it so the they grow really fast and all of this. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can make it so it has like a two by two trunk if you crossbreed them in certain ways. I've never really explored this a whole lot. I did a little bit back in uh, Feed the Beast Ultimate, I think, where I made an apple oak sapling that dropped a lot of saplings and we were powering our base on like the forestry biofuel and stuff a long time ago. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. I just haven't really explored it too much. Um, so I don't think there's anything that we need to see from these. Yeah, they can mutate into a bunch of different paths here as well. I think the apple oak looks about the same. And is there anything here? Lights, planes, planes. Okay. And then it does say that it possibly produces the apples. Okay. So that's cool. So now we need to take these two forestry trees and we plant them next to each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And that one, weird lighting updates. So yeah, we plant them next to each other. We'll go ahead and bone meal them. I think I'll do this one first since birch usually doesn't like to grow if it doesn't have enough room. Okay, so there we go. These two trees are next to each other, next to the bees that are doing their thing. These bees have a territory of like nine by whatever. Uh, so these leaves are well within their territory and then however long it takes for the bees to decide to to uh, start pollinating the leaves is how long it's going to take. Uh, I believe there's an item called spectacles. And we're going to have to find that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see in all this stuff. Let's go ahead and erase everything out of here. Maybe if I spelled it right, it would be better. Uh, there's an item in forestry. I believe it was called spectacles. I can't see it here. 
forestry. Maybe we'll just do it this way. And that should allow you to see when the leaves are being pollinated. Uh, in the past, the leaves actually just change colors when you zone or when you, yeah, these right here. When you change areas, like you go to the nether and you come back. Um, I don't know if we need these spectacles or not. I'm going to go ahead and make these. They're not super expensive. So let's check that out. It looked like it was bronze and two glass panes, I think. Uh, where'd it go? Right here? This one? Oh, we don't have glass panes anymore. I put them all in the machine. That's fine. We'll go ahead and make those and these. Okay, we'll place that. How does that look? That looks kind of weird, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go see if anything's happened up here by our trees. I doubt that anything's happened. It hasn't been too long. Oh, I thought I just saw something, but that was just the bark through the leaves. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's happened right now. And in fact, I don't know if anything happens at nighttime either. It might be that they only pollinate during the daytime. Uh, but I tell you guys what, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. I'm going to let things happen, and I'll bring you guys back in when there's something to show. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we're still in the process of trying to get these leaves to breed. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Okay, so one did get pollinated here. Do I need the spectacles to see that? Okay, so you kind of need them, but you can see that even without the spectacles on, that has like these different style leaves. Yeah, so with the spectacles, it makes them a different color. But anyway, the reason why I brought you guys back in is because I was over here uh, trying to make a supernatural bee. <laughs> um, yeah, I was looking at my bees, and I noticed that the princess for the supernatural bees was missing. I guess I made that into a noble stock, and then it just died off, or I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, I was trying to make one of those, so I was taking our supernatural drones over here and putting them through the samples and getting all this stuff uh, I got the supernatural species and then I heard an enderman make a sound I was like what the heck I turn there's an enderman standing like right here and it has my dirt block of all the random things where did that enderman even spawn from I don't know maybe he came from the mob trap or something uh, but <laughs> so random that he was like right next to me and he took like one of the two dirt blocks that are available for the enderman to take wow Anyway, uh, so I was looking at these different bees as well, and they have a pollination trait on them. It is called, I believe, flowers. Let's just look at one of these destabilized. Uh, pollination speed. Yeah, when you pull the trait off, I believe it's called flowering or flowers, one of the two. Anyway, um, I noticed that all of these bees that we had were slowest except for... These right here, the sinister ones, these are average. So I just went through and I was replacing the traits on all of these bees. So they have the average instead of the slowest. So hopefully that'll speed things up. I mean, obviously we got one leaf to change here. At least that's the only one that I've seen. Yeah, we have the one leaf. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we can use this industrial grafter that we made previously. And hopefully we will get... What we're looking for. Wow, that thing just wrecked the entire tree. That's not what I wanted to do. Does this have a different mode? Um, okay, so the industrial grafter is a little out of control. <laughs> I didn't know it'd do like in a whole area like that. Wow. Uh, so we have an apple oak sapling that's different. So we didn't get the crossbred that we're looking for. Okay. Well, I'm going to replace these trees, wait for <laughs> that stuff to happen, replace our dirt block here that that Enderman stole, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright guys, so after that last clip, I realized that the industrious bees that we have actually has a pollination speed of fast, which is the fastest that we have out of all of our bees right now. Um, so I went ahead and I redid all of our bees with the fast pollination, and yeah, it seems to be going a little bit faster, which is awesome. So I did plant two more trees to try and help speed up the process, get more leaves, so more chances for these to be crossbred. Uh, I was even trying something silly like using a watering can to see if that would speed things up, it didn't. Um, a lot of these leaves, I did remove the leaf that was on top, hoping that a butterfly would spawn. They can spawn on these pollinated leaves. I'm not sure if it's just the pollinated leaves or any of the forestry for Minecraft leaves, but I'm pretty sure it is the pollinated ones. So anyway, I tried uh, removing the leaves on top so a butterfly could spawn, but they have a low spawn rate and I haven't seen one yet. So anyway, we didn't get one to spawn. Uh, so I'm going to use a regular grafter this time on these leaves. 
so it doesn't destroy everything around. So we just got a regular uh, sapling there, just an apple one. If we're lucky, we will get the one we are looking for. Nope, that's just another oak sapling. Is that it? Silver lime, perfect. Okay, so now we got our first crossbred sapling. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I did use a regular grafter. We made one of that for a quest before. I can't remember when, but yeah, we made one of those for a quest. I'm gonna have to make another one now. Uh, so there's the proven grafter. What is, oh, I can't click on that. I wonder if that's just the same thing using proven sticks, but yeah, it doesn't have a thing in here. We could do a mana steel grafter. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it just lasts longer, but I know the, the regular grafter does what I want it to do. So that's what we are going to use for the rest of these leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and just break the rest of these. In fact, I'm probably going to chop down the rest of these trees since we now have the silver lime. We're gonna go ahead and mutate that with the next tree in the line and hopefully get the ones that we need. Okay, we got an apple out of that, which I guess is normal since that was an apple oak leaf. Yeah, I think that's all the different ones. So we ended up getting two silver lime, so that's kinda cool. Uh, I might grow these, get some saplings just so we have those on hand, but we wanna mutate the silver lime. Let's see, lemon, can't remember now. Uh, we wanna mutate the silver lime, this one. <laughs> with a hill cherry and to get the hill cherry we need silver lime and silver birch and silver that's weird so silver lime and apple oak and silver lime plus silver birch gives just the hill cherry I don't know if that is normal or if that's some kind of mistake anyway we will try with the silver birch and then if we can't get it we'll try it with the apple oak but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to crossbreed our trees here and see if we can get the saplings we need and we will be right back guys all right guys so we planted the silver lime and we planted the silver birch and the leaves have been been pollinated <laughs> which is pretty cool hopefully we will get the tree that we're looking for so let's break some of these leaves and we got a silver lime and this one another silver lime it looks like yep not 100 percent. there we go there is a cherry sapling so that is really really awesome Okay, so now we don't really have to mess with these too much. I guess I'll break that one too since it's pollinated and so is this one. There's another cherry sapling. Very cool. Uh, so one thing I found out about this industrial grafter, <laughs> it's kind of nice. So I can just go ahead and break all these trees just like so. Get rid of all of the, the wood around here. And then I can use the industrial grafter to go ahead and kill all the remaining leaves. Now one thing that's nice about the grafter is the grafter gives you a 100% chance of a sapling falling. So we can go ahead and stock up on all of these different saplings, which is awesome. Okay, so that is uh, one cool thing about that industrial grafter. If you're trying to just get the pollinated leaves, it's not so good, but when you're trying to remove trees and get a stockpile of saplings, it is really, really awesome. So for instance, we have two of the hill cherry saplings right now, right? So we can go ahead and plant one of those. Oh, do I not have bone meal on me? I don't think I do. Bone meal, I keep putting it back in the system. Okay, so we can plant one of these cherry saplings and grow it. There we go, kind of a weird looking wood. Uh, but now we can just use this industrial grafter and now we got a whole bunch of cherry saplings. We don't have to worry about that again. So that is really awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this breeding. Uh, actually, let's see. If we go back to the lemon trees, I'm just curious. So it's silver lime plus hill cherry will get us a lemon. Okay, so we're gonna plant those, let things happen. Hopefully we'll get our lemon trees and then we will move on to the chestnut and the walnuts. I'll probably just do those off camera since you guys can see how this process works. So yeah, let me go ahead and get that done and we'll be right back guys. Okay guys, so I just saw there was a butterfly flying around here. <laughs> Uh, kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye. I've been looking at the mini-map hoping to find one and yeah I haven't seen one on the mini-map, so I do have a Safari net ready to go if I can catch this thing I don't know if we're if we're allowed to catch these anymore looks like this thing's just gonna fly down to the void Ah, super difficult to try and get this thing Okay, okay we got it, barely got it, but we got it. It was down here in the void where all the particles are and stuff like that. Well, almost a void, like Y10. <laughs> okay, so we have this butterfly in a safari net, which means we can spawn them and hopefully get butterflies to make pollen for us. Now, another thing I forgot to mention to you guys. 
Uh, and I forgot about this myself until, you know, just a little bit ago. There's upgrades for these apiaries. There's a sieve upgrade, and I have installed that in all of our apiaries, and that produces pollen from the bees. So we can use that pollen. Let's see. Did we get any more? Just that one? No, we did get a silver lime pollen, and we have a hill cherry pollen. So now that we have this, we can actually use our mutagen and our mutatron, like we were doing for the bees, to purposely uh mutate into what we want uh, i have collected a walnut sapling so putting the silver lime and the hill cherry trees does give you an option of a walnut sapling so i assume it said the same thing for the the lemon so i think we're gonna try uh let me grab one of these over here these are all the extra saplings that we've collected from those trees and this is like uh, one stack of each different type and the wood types just so we can see the difference in those But yeah, let's grab one of these pure silver lime saplings. These are probably half silver half hill cherry We don't want to use those so we have that plus this pollen. Let's see what we can do here because I haven't tried this I don't think I've ever tried this ever So there's a sapling and there's a pollen and sure enough we can go ahead and say we want lemon sapling Okay, so we'll go ahead and click that button that makes this easier. So we have the walnut now. We have the lemon sapling. So now we just need to move on to the chestnut. I'm curious, would this have given me a lemon? Yeah, yeah. Nope, that's another hill cherry. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of random. Yeah, that's another walnut. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue breeding on, try and get the chestnuts. I think that's the last we need for this particular quest and we will be right back, guys. Butterflies! Alright guys, so now we got these trees grown over here. They require four saplings each. They have to be a two by two. So yeah, four saplings for the walnut, four saplings for the chestnut. Uh, you can see the leaves. They have kind of green fruit on them. Same thing with the lemon trees. These are not ripe. If you break the leaves, you won't get anything from them. But yeah, you can bone meal them. I think it's just one bone meal. You don't have to keep spamming it. One bone meal, you break it, and then you get a chance for the fruit, I think is how that works. Yeah, we just got a lemon right there. Uh, I think we should go back to the quest book real quick. Let's take a look and see what we needed for this to complete the quest. Uh, fruit samples, we needed 16 lemons, 16 walnuts, and one chestnut. Uh, I did try this <laughs> off camera here real quick. So all of these do start off like green and over time they get darker and darker until they finally get this stage. Like I said, you can uh, make them get to that stage just by bone mealing. So that's what I did. So we can just go ahead and bone meal all these guys. I think it just said we needed one chestnut, right? But we needed 16 walnuts. Uh, looks like with the nut trees, you get a walnut or a chestnut every time, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we got 12 of those. I think we only needed the one so we needed a bunch of these so We'll just go ahead and bone meal all of these. I don't know if these will give us one per harvest looks like Yeah, it looks like it's just the same thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I was just kind of waiting <laughs> Over here sitting on top of that silver lime tree waiting for these things to ripen on their own and I saw butterflies flying around over here so yeah, it looks like these trees just by existing produce butterflies. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing or not having butterflies around, but like in a regular non-void world, they won't, those butterflies never despawn. So they'll kind of fly around, they'll go into an unloaded chunk, and if you le let them go for long enough, you'll get thousands of those things just kind of hanging out. Not necessarily a good thing. Yeah, we needed a bunch more of these lemons, so let's go ahead and, you can see how this one's slightly darker than these. Or maybe, anyway, it's more yellow. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and ripen all of these. It doesn't look like that's 100% on the lemon, which is kind of weird. Uh, it's not a big deal. We can go ahead and get more of those. I wonder if we use a grafter. I made a pattern for this thing. And I did try the mana steel one, by the way. It just seems like it might have a few more yeah, durability than the regular one. Uh, so not that great. So that's a lemon. That was just a sapling. And that's just a sapling. Okay, so the grafter doesn't make you get more lemons. Uh, probably what would make that be better is if we crossbred these trees enough so that um, 
I forget what it is. There's like one of the traits on these saplings that has like production or something like that. The yield for the fruits. We can make it so it does fruit more often, but we don't, we haven't done that yet. Uh, the different wood types are kind of cool for these trees as well. Like the lime woods kind of got this little stripe thing going on. The um, citrus wood, I guess the lemon wood, doesn't look that great. It's got a weird yellow color to it. Uh, walnut's kind of cool. And then the chestnut, which looks kind of mossy, I guess, maybe. A little bit of green in there. Yeah, anyway, it's kind of cool. Different types of wood. And then the cherry wood, obviously, is a nice bright red color. But yeah, let me go ahead and get the rest of these lemons. I'm going to have to grow some more of these trees, obviously. And... So we can get the 16 of these and we'll be right back to complete this quest. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, that didn't take too much longer. So we have 16 lemons, 16 walnuts, and the one chestnut we need. Let's go and submit those. And it looks like that did complete this quest. I was kind of thinking there might be one more that would show here for other fruit or whatever from forestry. But no, it looks like that is all we needed to do. So that's not too bad. Uh, that's going to give us a V apiary booster. I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, something with Thomcraft. And then a reward bag. So this is a legendary reward bag. Now, I heard some people in the comments saying how trolly Jaded Cat was with the rewards from these. Now, guys, remember, these reward bags aren't, like, they're not set. You have the different rewards available for legendary. There's, like, I don't know, 20 different rewards, let's say. So I might get one that's just dirt or I might get one that's like the most epic thing ever. It's just random. If you were to open one of these, you'd get something different. So yeah, there are some weaker items that you can get, but there are some good items. So we just had a run of bad luck and, you know, 16 bottles of enchanting. That's experience. It's uncommon. Um, don't really need it since we are this late in the game and we have all of these concentrated essence berries. But I don't know, maybe there's actually something that we can use these for. Actually, let's get out of this thing. I'm curious now. Uses for this? No, it doesn't look like there's any specific uses that I can find in any eye. But I don't know. Um, it's not a terrible reward. And then the V apiary booster is from Magic Bees. Huh, okay. So now I'm curious about this. Does that have any uses? No. Can we set this thing down? What does that do? It's got a kind of a cool thing inside of there. It's kind of wiggling. It's doing something. Can't right click on it. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some research on this. I bet it's something like we have to shoot a beam of V into this thing and then it'll like speed up the apiaries or I don't really know. Break with this or that. Okay, we got it back. Right on. Okay, so that should complete the bees and trees portion of our quest book. So all quests completed, which is awesome. I know some people are going to be happy about that. Uh, so... We don't have to do any more with forestry at this point as far as the bees and the trees go. We will probably be looking at forestry a little bit in the future. There is this quest in Sky Farm right here for the multi farms, which is more forestry stuff, which is kind of cool automated tree farms and things, which uh, actually work pretty well with these kinds of trees if we wanted to mass produce the fruits and the nuts because they will just wait until the tree ripens and then they'll harvest all of the stuff from it and then chop the tree down and grow another one. So yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, like I said, we will look at that in probably another time. But yep, that's all we got time for for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I've had a lot of fun messing around forestry once again. Yeah, lots of really cool wood types and all of this stuff. Uh, it's too bad this mod pack doesn't have stuff from like extra bees where you can really create some crazy things like Eulorium or Uranium or all of this stuff. But you know, what can you do? All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.